Well, hello everyone, this is Pastor Mark, and you're joining me on Monday, June 15th, 2020, as we continue in our Bible study. Now this week, we're going to take a break from the Galatians book and get out of the Old Testament for a little bit, and we're going to go into and look at five different New Testament passages. We're doing this for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, just to get a little break from the Old Testament from the Galatians book, but also I'm on military duty again uh, this week, and so I have to pre-record all of these messages. So thank you for your patience. I hope you enjoy these Bible studies. They're going to be shorter as they were before when I was on military duty. They're going to be shorter, but I hope they're of quality. <clears throat> you know, my heart's breaking right now, and I'm sure yours is as well, is for where our country is and where it looks like we're headed. We're treating each other very poorly um, as a nation. We're treating each other horribly. And so my heart's been breaking over this. And I thought, you know, what are some things we can do as Christians to be better people? What are some things we can do as Christians um, to grow together with others instead of pushing each other apart and being divisive, what are some things we can do to unite? And I want to look at five passages this week that I think help us do that and learn some principles behind these passages that might help us be better people. The first one we're going to look at is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29, but let's pray first. Father, thank you. Help us to learn something this week about how we can be better people, how we can better serve you, how we can better serve others, and how we can grow together with those around us. Heal our hearts. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29, if you were at my church service on Sunday, you heard about this. This was part of the passage that we looked at. We're just going to look at verse 29 today, and it says this. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Folks, if we want to uh, grow together with other people, if we want to decrease the divisiveness in our country right now and among the people of our country, even among the people within our own churches, we've got to speak kindly. And again, I talked about this on Sunday. But we've got to let what comes out of our mouths be wholesome. What comes out of our mouths be beneficial to others, to meet the needs of others, to encourage others. Folks, too often we talk behind people's backs, we say mean things, we post mean things on Facebook, um, our opinions about things politically or socially or whatever, uh, we can oftentimes deliver that with bitterness in our hearts. And the challenge for us as the church is what we read in verse 29 of Ephesians 4, is to fight that urge to be unwholesome and let unwholesome words come out of our mouths and challenge ourselves to be kind and let kind words, wholesome words, encouraging words, loving words, grace-filled words come out of our mouths. You're going to be challenged this week at some point. You're going to want to lash out at somebody. You're going to want to be mean. You're going to want to say something unwholesome, nasty, rude, unkind. And my challenge for you is to bite your tongue. Think about Christ. Think about God and what he wants from us. Think about other people and what they need. And turn those unkind words into kind ones. Those unwholesome words into wholesome ones those foolish words, into wise ones. Let's pray. Father, change our hearts. Make what comes out of our mouths be beneficial, encouraging, and wise. May we not fall prey to the unwholesomeness of the world around us. Certainly, don't let us have unwholesome words come out of our mouths because words do hurt, and words do matter, Lord, and you know that. The more kindness we show, the more we're going to grow together with others. So I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. We'll be back again tomorrow. We'll see you then.